So opiates have um, several um, actually quite useful clinical effects, right? And at low to moderate doses, I mean, obviously, analgesia, reduction in pain, is a pretty significant and important you know, uh, clinical effect. Um, it can produce minor respiratory depression at low to moderate doses. Um, pupillary constriction, so people get these sort of pinpoint pupils. The more um, uh, opiate that they're exposed to, though, the, the more pinpoint they become. Um, there, it's been linked to less coughing, although there are some issues about studies that suggest its efficacy. Um, and some questions about its efficacy. You know, apparently honey works just as well. Um, impaired concentration is associated with um, use of uh, uh, low to moderate doses of opiate drugs. Um, sort of a dreamy sleep is associated with their use. Um, and also constipation, but this was actually also a, a clinical effect, I mean, for somebody who has diarrhea, and so you'd find opiates and drugs like Imodium. Um, at higher doses, um, and particularly with this rapid administration, rapid administration of high dose um, is, of course, going to be associated with a greater dependence liability, greater risk of continued use, right, and compulsive use, partly because it produces a euphoric kick, right? Uh, but there's also this dysphoria and restlessness and nausea and vomiting that's associated with the use of um, higher doses because you're going to be increasing you know, um, activity of opiates in certain brainstem regions, for example, that'll promote vomiting and you know, nausea. Um, but yet at the same time, there's this euphoric kick. So it's paradoxically sometimes described by addicts as a good sick. They're vomiting and miserable and you know, uh, nauseous but they're also vaguely euphoric, or at least you know, some of the other withdrawal symptoms are being relieved by the time they're addicted to the drug. Um, at even higher doses, of course, um, the respiratory depression, this toxic effect, um, you know, it becomes quite apparent, and it can generate respiratory failure. Um, and in some cases, this is a clinically you know, um, kind of uh, suggested outcome or, or, or uh, uh, an outcome that they're trying to get um, with induced death. 